Hello, N3FJZ here. Okay, I want to demonstrate how I use my link couple tuner to uh, match my 80 meter full wave loop fed by 600 ohm ladder line to my BIDX like rig, uh, the output, 50 ohm output of that rig. Okay, so uh, typically what I'll do is I have a switch on my balance modulator. I find it, there it is. That I throw, which unbalances the modulator so that the, uh, the uh, carrier passes through the bridge, through the balance bridge. Okay, so what I'll do, and I'm going to use about one watt here just to prevent any sort of interference. N3FJZ is the frequency in use. This is N3FJZ testing. Okay, so I will unbalance the bridge, or the balance modulator, I should say. And I want to dial this back to about one watt or two. Okay, looks around one or two watts. Okay. So typically what I'll do is I'll, using very low power, one or two watts, um, set my uh, SWR bridge to uh, reverse power. And this is going to be difficult because I can't hold the phone and adjust the bridge at the same time. So let me see if I can work something out here. Okay, here we go. All right, what I'm doing is turning the tuning capacitor here. Try to get a dip. And that's really not good enough. So I'll change the tap. Try it again. Again, I'll be turning the uh, tuning capacitor, trying to get that as low as possible. Okay, and then do an SWR set and switch to SWR and tune this capacitor for a one-to-one -one match. Okay, and there we go. And that's how I do it. So with a combination of alligator clip leads on this balanced tuner, and these taps are found by experimentation, of course, and then there's, that's the 50 ohm side. Alligator clips will adjust the um, selection on the primary side of the balance link tuner. And of course the output side is this inner coil. And then there's a parallel tuning capacitor. And disregard the strange tuning arrangement. This tuning capacitor was part of a... Uh, Michigan Mighty Might that I built and I just tore off the coil and everything else associated with it and just kept the capacitor and kind of just soldered things together just to have some, you know, I was lazy. I didn't want to build another stand for a capacitor. So, And then the two red clips, they are the uh, 600 ohm ladder line that goes out to the full wave horizontal loop. And as you can see, um, let's see, I'm SWR here. It's a dead-on match. There is no reflected power that I can measure with this MFJ SWR meter. Okay, now what I'll do, and my balance modulator is still unbalanced. And let's see, we're on... 5 watts, 
and we're about two and a half watts out. All right, so what I'll do, and again, I'll see if I can adjust some things here. I want to go for 50 watts. Okay, try this again. There we go. There's our 50 watts. And reverse power is dead on. This is N3FJZ testing. N3 FJZ testing. It's reverse forward power. N3 FJZ testing. So, again, apologies for the poor camera technique. I'm trying to do what requires three hands with two. So, that's how I tune up my uh, rig to the antenna. 7 3 everyone. N3 FJZ.